So a lot of y'all do not know the difference between somebody that is an avoidant and someone that's just not that into you, right? But a lot of y'all like to get in my comments and say stuff like, well, it sounds like that person's not that into them or not that into you. Okay, first of all, let's stop using that that's not into you phrase as a way to deflect deflect on the truth which is if you're not into somebody do not waste your time even entertaining a conversation with them okay tell them straight up not into you please hit the block button on me or just don't respond right but a lot of people that are just not that into you will divulge a bunch of personal details about them so they could um they can make this false connection, this false deep connection with you so they could have access to you casually, okay? Something easy and casual. Whereas avoidance, they just don't value oneness. They don't value high levels of intimacy and emotion. And so when a person is with an avoidant, that person's gonna show commitment, in some ways that person's going to act like they're like they they're interested and they they want something that's long lasting right they'll go as far as to move in marry you all this other stuff but see here's the thing avoidance don't just affect people they're in relationships with they affect the children that they create and they avoid having deep conversations with their kids they do not go out of their way to pick up the tools to learn how to have deep introspective conversations with their kids about what life has in store for them in the future. They don't. These people be having kids and their kids be in the world just lost because their parents are avoiding having the hard conversations. They just think, nah, they're, they're gonna figure it out just like they did. And that's really unfair. They affect themselves because sometimes they don't even, they don't even care to take care of themselves in a time sensitive manner because they're avoiding the truth of maybe their health is declining. Whereas a person who's just not that into you is clearly showing you by not just their actions, what they say, but they're telling you, I'm not looking for anything. I just want to have fun. But when you're a manipulative person, or maybe a narc, you're going to do everything it is to manipulate people into giving you something easy and casual. Whereas an avoidant, yeah, they want something solid, but they don't know how to keep something solid. They don't know. Not because they're dumb, but because they refuse and choose to not pick up the tools to help them be better partners. And I've met several avoidants in my life that value commitment, but they don't know how to keep a commitment. They don't know how to make a commitment last. And the people that are not that into you, they won't even think or pretend to want a commitment. Now, if you're the person that's trying to force someone into a commitment, that's a different story and they give it to you for access to you, that's a different story. And that's why I mentioned, stop trying to chase avoidance because it's a waste of time trying to make a commitment last with them. Whereas for somebody that's not that into you, you're not even in the beginning stages of a relationship of love and consequence. So like they might as well be the same thing. The only difference is that one can offer a commitment, but they can't make a commitment last. I'm going to give you two examples. There's two love dealers. One is not that into you and the other one is an avoidant. The one that's not that into you, it's transactional as in they will drop off the, the love in your mailbox and you have your money in the mailbox and they leave as soon as they drop it off. Okay. They're not going to go in there and do the love with you like the avoidant will. Okay. And so the avoidant will do the love with you, stay up all night, 
you know, get so effed up that they're like, I love you so much, blah, blah, blah. But the second they run out of that, or the second you say, man, this is so good. Maybe I should get in on this. They're like, hell no, we are not, we are not about to sell this together. Or they're like, you know what? I don't have enough. So I need to go back to outer space to re-up. Whereas the person that's not that into you, the dealer that's not that into you, they're not going to try to make this more than what it is. It's a transaction where the avoidant does the opposite. They don't make it a transaction. They make it something that they know that can't last. And the love dealer who's not that into you, they're not going to go through all these steps just to serve you this love. They're not. They're not going to get off their rocket ship, park it, then call Elon Musk to drop them off so they could deal you this love. They're not going to go through all those steps. They're going to be like, nah, you're just too far. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Meet me halfway or meet me here in space. Or if I'm in town, I'll drop it off to you. Whereas the avoidant will go through all these stupid steps, put all this time to deal you this love, which will make you think, oh, they care about me. But in reality, they also like things easy and quick, but easy and quick, but easy and quick feels empty. And that's why they take all these ridiculous steps to get to you when they could just say, meet me here. Meet me in, in space. Meet me halfway. They don't want to do that. Right? And then when things get real or when you say something like, man, we should get into this business together. That's when they're freaking out. That's when they're like, oh, no, I can't do this oneness. I can't do this. Uh-uh. I can't get this close. But they create the environment of closeness. Whereas... Maybe sometimes the not that into you does that, but you can easily tell is because they're just trying to use your body or use you for, for, for killing time. The avoidant doesn't make you feel that way. That's why it's confusing. The not just the, I'm not that into you and the avoidant act differently but you get the same result. And the avoidant will see some bullshit like, you don't have to pay me for this. I love being here with you. This is a vibe. You're great. Nah, you're cool, man. I love you. This, let's just enjoy this love while I have it. <laughs> yeah. When they could have easily just put the love in the mailbox like the person who's not that into you. And you could have just picked up your love and they would have gotten their, their, their money and went the fuck on with their life. They could have just kept it transactional, but they didn't. They love to blur the lines. 